Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know what time it is. You just tuned in to the most exclusive podcast in the city. In the this state, top with no help. out of space, in the space, in no your shit. face. My time is coming up. Mogul moves now. only. Get to the top with no yeah. help. Give me some diamonds, put it. Yeah. Stacking the money with no stress. Yeah. My time is coming up. up next. Watch how you move. And I got a heavy hitter in the game right now. Watch how you move. Watch how you move. Watch how you move. Yeah, yeah. And we gonna go up, man. Got a nice young artist popping up, coming up in the city right now. He coming with that new banger right now. You about to put pressure on your neck right now. Put, put this trooper to your pain right, ah, brain right now. <laughs> Real shit finna put on the show. Yeah. Red light just wanna bankroll. Yeah. Wanna hands up, feel go. But I'ma blow And we just gonna go up. Nigga, you show me respect. I want the whole PI. Don't want Mogul moves only. Big D to Mogul. Yeah. Money and stack it up right to the ceiling. But fuck it, I'm gonna do some shit. Yeah. yeah. Follow my nigga, let's get it. Write a new verses and pray that I give me a Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 you can turn that down, Mario. Yeah. Yo, 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 you just tuned in to the most exclusive podcast, Mogul Moves Only, with your boy, Big D the Mogul, a.k.a. Shook Diddy, a.k.a. Illuminati Jack, a.k.a. Big Thanos, a.k.a. Heaven on Earth. AKA dry rub shorty. Why? Because I'm good before the drip. I don't need no sauce. You under dick. And I got a heavy hitter with me today, man. Uh cat coming up right now in the city. Just dropped a fire single. Y'all just heard right now. I'm gonna let him introduce all that in this moment. Um, but before we get started, appreciate y'all checking in the Mogul Moves Only with your boy Big D the Mogul. Uh, before we get started, please, y'all know the routine. Please subscribe, comment, rate. Share, share with all your friends, man. I appreciate appreciate y'all been rocking with me for so long. Say for all my followers and listeners on Spotify, Apple Music, it's important, please, for y'all to share and rate. If you're a sponsor and you're interested in having your product on Mogul Moves only, hey, all you gotta do is hit up Team Mogul Media at gmail.com. Again, Team Mogul Media at gmail.com. Uh, we reporting right now, recording right now, as I should say. At Mogul Media Studios, one of the most premier uh, recording studios in the DFW, Texas area, man. So if you ever looking for a nice place to record um, your next single project, voiceover, podcast such as this, um, looking for label services, hey, man, we have it all here right now. If you would like to be a guest on Mogul Moves Only, again, hit the same email, teammogulmedia at gmail.com. Holla at your boy. Also want to let you guys know, I told y'all, Mogul Media Management, we here. Got a whole team of professionals, man. I'm really looking for the next big thing. And not just one person. I'm looking for just a a roster of artists who got the mentality to go get it. So if you feel like you got the juice, you feel like you got the movement, hey, holla at me again on the same email, teammogulmedia.com. Shit, not Team Mogul Media. Team Mogul Media at gmail.com. Please holler at me. I'm looking for the next big artist. I need y'all, man. I want to take y'all to the top. I got all the resources. I got the studio. I got the bio. I got the writers. I got the videographers. I got everything you need in-house to help you pop. All you got to do is bring yourself, but you also need a budget, right? I'm not a record label, so don't get that twisted. I'm not a record label yet. Soon, though. Um... But now that I got all the business out the way, I got in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to, I got OG Bird in the building. What up, dog? What's happening with you? Hey, not much, man. I appreciate you coming on the show, man, reaching out, and we about to get this thing popping, man. Already. You came into your um, your single that you got going on right now, man. Tell everybody about that single. Uh, I got a new single out called Watch How You Move, and all all I got to say is it's going to be the biggest song ever, like... Ever since I made it in the studio, I just knew that it was going to take off. Like, it Go. takes patience and time, but I know that when the time comes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. So watch how you move, man. I've been listening to the song over and over again. Definitely got that bounce to it. Yeah. Um, what's your process, man? When it comes to creating, like, what was your mindset when you went into the studio and you created that song? Um, really just staying low key. Like, staying by, like, staying to yourself. Because, mm. like, you know, as niggas out to get you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because of what you got going on. And so, great question. I'm glad you brought that up. Real quick, though, how can people find you on social media real quick? Um, Twitter, Instagram, OGBird1K, SoundCloud, OGBird1K. 
And that's that's the name OG Bird 1K Okay there you go Yeah So Very important right I feel like right now I don't know if hip hop is I, I feel like hip hop may be the most dangerous It's ever been Yeah Um how do you feel like with a song like that and it's continuing to gain momentum and gain steam, how are you going to move differently so that you don't get caught up in the bullshit that the industry brings? Really just make sure you got like a solid team. The people that already know what they, I'm not saying like they know what they're doing, but just know like the mind, what they got going on. Like, you can't be with people that ain't got the mind, the same mindset as you. For sure. But like I see right now, like you got on your chains, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got two nice gold ropes. And you know, that's the that's like the new thing, right? Well, it's not a new thing. Actually, snatching chains has been going on for a long time, yeah. even before social media. It's just that now social media lets people spread the news so fast that your chain and something got snatched. Yeah. But like being that it's so serious and it can happen to anybody, how do you foresee trying to move to keep that from happening to you? Really, it's just not. I mean, I understand. I ain't really a people's person at that. So it's like, if you're trying to beef with me, I'm just gonna move around it. Okay. Because I'm not really with that. Like, if you ain't trying to make no money with me or just be on some cool shit, then I ain't no reason for me to communicate with you. Okay. Real you know talk. What I'm saying? So, I mean, if you was to take something from me, then I'm gonna take something back. Like, it's not gonna be a good. Like, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I dig it. So, like, but beef have shown that when people beef. Sales and music goes up. Yeah, controversy sells. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fifty Cent took that whole that whole platform or that whole premise of beef to sell records, or even like shows with power. You know, Empire was doing good, and he started creating like a a kind of beef or tension between the shoe, two shows just to you know ramp up the competition and awareness of his show. Right. So, but you feel like beef ain't even worth that shit. I'm gonna just. I'm not gonna even respond to that shit. I mean, really, it's not really worth it because either you're gonna go to jail or you're gonna be dead. Okay. Hey man, they shout out to you for the positivity. Okay. Now, let's talk about a little bit about your origin, man. So where initially are you from? I was really born and raised in Pleasant Grove. Okay, from the Grove. Yeah, but, but I was moving around Dallas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've been all mo- really literally everywhere. And, and why so much movement? Why not the stability? Like, give us a little bit of background on like, you growing up. Uh, really just because, like, the first thing, because my mama wanted me in a better school. Okay, that's facts. You know what I'm saying? Because she felt like that if I didn't go to a better school, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Okay. I'd probably be somewhere in jail or dead or something. No doubt, no doubt. Education is definitely that. So what was some of the growing up and moving around, man? I know they had to be tough. You know what I'm saying? You make some friends here, but then you move and you got to start over. You're the new kid in the hood, all that stuff, man. Like, what were some of the most difficult things you felt like you had to overcome in your life as far as with your, your your family and the lack of that stability moving around? Really trying to grind, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it made me grind harder seeing my mama struggle. Yeah. That made me just go harder, so I just felt like seeing her struggle, I got to get off my ass and do something. Okay. So then now we into the music. At what age did you feel like you started getting into actually mu- get into music? I mean, really, I can say 19. Okay, 19. And you how old now? I'm 23. Okay, so you, you're three years, tw- no, four years into it right now. Yeah. At 19, what intrigued you? What, it, what enticed you to get into this music game? Really just trying to provide for my family. Okay. Because they, they always told me that I was chosen, like, you're going to be the one that do something for us because I just know. Just by you growing up, you know what I'm saying? And now for me, and my whole thing, you know saying, with being one of the podcasts, I like to be transparent up front. People know me, I shoot from the hip. Right. I tend to feel like artists who in it for the money, y'all don't ever get a chance to really pop. Right. Because people can hear the money grab. But where's your passion? You know what I'm saying? Like the passion for the music. Like people who out here like, yo, I live music. I breathe music. Like do you have that type of passion for music or is you feeling like, hey, this is like an investment in myself only and I feel like this is what's going to blow me up to no. take care of my family? It's really that I made music because of the struggle. Okay. I feel like the people that's struggling right now can relate to it. Like saying like you have to do stuff to get where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Not saying like, oh, you got to go do that, do that, but – you got to get off your ass. You got to go work. You got to go do this to get some money. You got to make sure you're good at the end of the day. So, so you do have a passion for music, yeah. but there is a financial responsibility you feel like what you have in your family that that's what's pushing you forward to try to make this happen. Yeah, you can say that too. 
No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Um, so 19. At what point did you, did you did you have any influences? I know I read your um your um your article with Voyage. Yeah. And it said like your uncle or somebody they used to take you to the studio or whatever, and that's when you realized that that's something you want to do. Like, was your was your uncle and them rappers, or what was that relationship like, and how did that that event and them take you to this studio inspire you to become an artist? Uh, back at the time, like when he was recording, he was recording at his partner house. Okay, so he was really like in the closet in the crib type shit. So I was just watching them and his partners rap. And I was like, damn, like they really go hard, like. Okay. But they really didn't take it that serious. Like I'm trying to do it. Okay. So as me watching them. Rap like damn, I really can like do something with this. So as me growing up and like saying like trying to learn, learn like it just made me like have a different wave in the music. Cause okay. They, Cause they really from the hood. They they do like hood music stuff. I got like you, know you feel like you're a little bit more versatile. Yeah, I'm versatile with it. So like you can it's still like hood shit, but it's still like you can like white people could turn up to it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Okay. Shit, I, I feel you. So you trying to make sure you have something that encompasses all fan bases. <laughs> right. No doubt. No doubt. Well, um, so coming up, being 19, getting into the rap game, like, well, who's your like your your favorite? What's who's your top three artists of all time? And then I want to know who's your top three artists that's that's popping today, that's on the scene. Of all time. Man, number one gonna always be offset. Okay. Oh, that's different. Okay, that's dope. Yeah. I've never heard that. That's just you know dope. What I'm saying? Yeah, it's all gonna be my number one. Um two, I can say Kendrick. Okay. And three, Maxo. Okay. Maxo go hard. Yeah, Houston. Maxo go hard as hell. Offset dope as hell. Kendrick dope. I've never seen anybody put offset before Kendrick. That's that's a new nah. that's a new territory for me. I mean I understand, like it's two different they make two like different music. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I feel like I can relate more to Offset than Kendrick. Okay, that's why I put him first. So we respect Kendrick got that lyricism. Yeah, but you 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 can really vibe with with Offset just his his lifestyle, his culture, his just his vibe. Yeah, and his music, I, I dig that. Yeah. So today, who's with the new artists on the team? Like you got the Blue Faces. You know what I'm saying? They just um, dropped a Double XL freshman. Yeah. Um, the baby. You know what I'm saying? All the babies popping right now. Little baby, the baby, saw the baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who do you think that's like, I, who's your top three that you will want to work with in the industry right now? Number one, Offset still. Okay. The baby. Okay. And Gunner. Gunner. Okay. Yeah, them top three. That's right dope. Now. That's dope. Like, um, so if you was the, so right now Offset would be the first person you would call to get out. What about females? Female artists right now. Do you listen to a lot of female rappers? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. When do you listen to them most? Do you listen? When do you listen to female rappers? I guess. When they pop up on my playlist, or it's just like, oh, damn, like it ain't an everyday thing. But if I don't listen to something that just automatically come on, like on Spotify, or something, I just listen to it. Do you rap the songs? No. No. Why not? So you have that. So in your head, you rap it. In your head, you bobbing the <laughs> hell out of that shit, but you can't let it be shown outwardly, huh? I'm listening to the bars at home, but I'm not really like relating to that shit. So we pull up to the light, right? I bring this analogy up all the time. So you in your car, I'm in my car, and I pull up to the light. And sit, uh, Megan The Stallion, what is that, Hot Girl Summer or something? That song, come on. And you see me in my truck, and I'm like just rapping the shit out of that Megan The Stallion song. How, <laughs> how, how would you feel? If you hey. listen to it, you listen to it. I mean, if you, it's just how you, would, would you, so you, but you wouldn't rap the bars. No, I'm gonna listen to it, but I'm not gonna rap it. Why not? Like, why do you feel like you can't rap the song? Because I'm not a female. Like, that's just for females only. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't don't get me wrong. They spit some hard ass shit, but it's just for like. But like, if you in the car by yourself as a dude, and you pulling up and still hot girl summer making the stallion song, and you the only nigga in the car, ain't no chicks in there. What about? Is it a okay? I want to ask you this: Is it a man code violation? To listen to Megan Stallion and it's a bunch of dudes in the car. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, she go hard, but Go hard as hell. If it's a bunch of niggas in the car, we not finna listen to no Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. Just because like So City Girls pop on in your play because you you just running through your playlist. So do you skip if City Girls come on and it's you and a bunch of your niggas in the car? Do you skip it? Yeah. Okay. What about young and May? She come on. Do you skip it? I really don't listen to her. I I can say like top three females. I'll probably say to go hard. It's Megan, Sensei Molly, 
Mm. And um, shit, that's pretty much it, honestly. Okay. So you, you okay. Making the style and we spitting. You don't you don't rock with Cardi? Mm. I mean she she go hard, don't get me wrong, but I'm not finna just like, oh, Felicity Cardi. But Cloud go hard cause because But I bet it. you you got a playlist like if you kicking it with a bunch of chicks. Nah, you gotta have yeah, that playlist nah, ducked off yeah, ready. The, the females I be hanging out with, they're like, they gonna listen to some shit I like, like the baby, stun the gunner, all of them. A them bunch like. of studs. <laughs> Nah, that's not, that's not the, girl the, the girl. Them bad chicks, they, they trying to, it's hot girl summer. You supposed to be winning right now. They they What they say, hot girl summer, we can get loose as we want. <laughs> and you going to put on the baby? You got to have your female playlist on deck ready. Like, you got to go in and be like, this is my busted open playlist. Right. So then when the chicks come in and the, the chicks hanging out with you, then you could just run that pl- playlist to get them set up for the for the <laughs> final play. True, true. But that's, for, that's what R&B for. Y'all ain't got R&B these days. Wow. All the, the gangster niggas singing with pistols. I mean, yeah, but we listen to the shit. In R. The Kelly? 90s. Nah, not R. Kelly. Like, Don't say you don't listen to R. Kelly. He Girl the one that had all the, um, the R&B hits. He going through too much shit. So you just going to stop listening to him? What happened to Guilty and to Proven Innocent? I mean, really? Damn, he man. Already, he already got caught with everything he done. He ain't got caught yet. If he incarcerated, he got caught with everything. He just going through trial, I think, right? You guilty until proven innocent. I mean, you innocent until proven guilty. Hey. May God he be with pimping. him. He just pimping. May God be with him. Whatever, <laughs> whatever situation he go through, let, I let God handle it. Yeah, so you not listen to R. Kelly in the bedroom. Y- your generation don't have no R&B. Well, you got Chris Brown. Chris mm-hmm. Brown still go hard, but that's the only R&B catch you really got that's going hard. All the rest of y'all niggas... Your generation just auto tune in but sing about pistols. I'd be so confused. <laughs> but, ooh, I'm gonna pull up to your house and shoot you in the face with an auto tune on their voice. Oh, uh, I know. That shit be crazy as hell. You be <laughs> like, damn, this nigga is melodic and soft as hell, but he talking about shooting everybody in their face. Nah, I know he's I know some nigga do that. That's pretty much all your rappers, bro. Yeah, you can say that. Your yeah. generation for the most part. <laughs> yeah. So um, so Meg the Stallion, she doing her thing. Um, what what's in your playlist right now? So what you rolling through? So we know we got Offset, we got Stunner. Who else you listening to right now? Shit, Gunner, Lil Baby, mm. Stunner for Vegas, me. Um, really I like how you throw me in there. That's dope as hell. That's yeah. I, I I like the shot, the confidence. Shout out to the confidence. Real shit, bro. So I feel like I'm a, my favorite rapper too. Like I'm my favorite rapper too. So what you feel like set you a set it set you apart from all other rappers? Like it's just reality. Like I speak about what go on I see every day. Yeah, I speak about that. Like I don't speak about oh I want this materialistic things. But why not? We like materialistic things. I mean, we like the bling. We like the foreigns. I mean, we like the bad chicks. Yeah, it's true. But don't get me wrong. You can speak it into existence. Cause yeah. I know it's gonna come. Yeah, but. I want people to know what I go through when I walk out my door. So, so how important is truth to you in music? Do you have to live everything you rap about? I feel like you do so people can relate and see if you really live in what you rap about. Okay. So how I, I guess my thing is this, and I brought this up a few times, is like you rapping, especially if you into illegal activities, how do you rap about things that you really did? Aren't you just indicting yourself? That's because now we're seeing it more and more. Tay K just got sentenced 55 years, and the biggest thing, one of the biggest defenses uh, the prosecutors used was the race, right. the lyrics in this song. Right. So is being that real, that serious, in order? are you willing to put your freedom on the line just to make a couple of dollars and indict yourself? I mean, yeah, what you said, it's true what you, what you said, but it's like, if you're not doing that now, but you did it before, I mean, right. don't get me wrong, you can still talk about it. But I'm just saying, like, you feel like you already did that or lived that life, you can talk about it, but don't, like, indict yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I really mean, but... I guess, like, when you go to a movie, right? do you leave out the movie thinking that, that the movie happened in real life? Sometimes. You, oh, you say you feel like some of it is based on some real facts, which we understand. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, when you say when you saw Denzel play a crooked cop in Training Day, did you think Denzel was a crooked person in real life? I mean, no, cause I know he acting, but still, like, it's some people out here that's like that. 
Because I feel like we put too much emphasis on real on entertainment. When entertainment, we always expect it to just be entertaining. Like I look at hip hop as entertaining. Like I don't expect no real uh, a smart person to go out and say all the shit that they did on the tape because even though it's something you did in the past you don't know if it's still being investigated and now you just linked yourself as the missing link to that investigation right you know what I'm saying it's like I look at rappers no different than movie writers you know what I'm saying or you know script writers and you just acting out a movie it don't always gotta be I just feel like people taking it too serious to try to be everything they want they trying to do shit so they can say it's real in they raps right you know what I'm saying? Now, if you lived that lifestyle and this was something you was doing way before you ever thought about rapping, I kind of understand telling your testimony. But you got some people who taking being so serious about being real in their raps that they like foreseeing, like, I'm going to go out and just do a bunch of bullshit just so I can say in my raps, I really did it. Right. And I, I think we losing, we losing too many brothers out here to the bullshit behind trying to get signed. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, I feel like rappers are getting killed and knocked down left and right. Over bullshit Just so they can say They real In they raps That's true You know what I'm saying But like Coming out I know you You said you got You got You working on a new project Talk about the project Um My new tape That's coming out Born Again Believer You have a release date for it yet? Nah Because I'm, I gotta make sure that I wanted to Where it's gonna be okay. I, I, I wanted to drop it And just be still here No no doubt No you doubt know what I'm saying I wanted to When it drop I wanted to go up with it so I'm just doing what I need to do, drop visuals, keep going to the studio and investing in myself before I do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when it comes to, um, you got a video out, mm -hmm. where can people find and stream the video and the name of that song? Uh, it's called War, uh, W-A-R, uh, OG Bird. You'll, you'll just, it'll be the first video that pop up. Okay. My homeboy, uh, B. Wood shot it. Okay. And tell us a little bit about that song or that uh, video. It's really just like, I, like all my niggas, we ready for war. Like every time we walk outside, like if, if you trying to what you, what you trying to do, then we about it. Like we not gonna let down. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Know what I'm you. Well, since you about war, you know I'm big on I'm I'm big on these bars. Yeah, I'm ready for you to go to war on these bars. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. I, I'm saying, bro, because I. Yeah. Big up to you, man. Everybody coming on here with these bars. You know I call these breakfast bars. Hey, man, I got OG Bird. We Let's about go. to get it in to these breakfast bars. We about to get it in. Yeah. Breakfast bars. Hey. Mogul moves only. Hey. Big D the mogul. Hey. OG Bird. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> hey, shout out to Stunner. For real. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Look. You ain't my slime, yeah. you not my nigga Wiping your nose but can't bust a pistol I'm finna take off, just like a missile Head honcho and I made her official yeah. OG nigga, you bet I'm correct Doing my dance while I'm banging the set I got your bitch, she throwing that neck I'm finna just do it, now give me your check Watch how you move, I get it finesse Told myself I gotta be great Gotta go hard with no fucking break Sleep for the rich, I ain't rich yet Beat your ass up with no sweat These nigga be beef on the internet yeah. I'm low key, nigga can't get into that yeah. Can't fuck with y'all nigga, y'all nigga rap Push on the gas and I go. I get that pack for the low. Yeah. Uh, I got the. Hey, nigga, you already know how I roll. Yeah. My nigga, I go get the pass. I'm ballin' hard like I'm Steve Nash. Hey, but big nigga, like I am Shaq. My nigga, I finna go in attack. Doing my damn like the baby and shit. I'm finna go hard, can't be in the mix. Most of y'all nigga be pussy and snitch. I ain't got time. Nigga, you winning, you losing, taking L's. I ain't gon' lie, I came from the ground. I ain't gon' lie, I had to go get the bell. Most of these niggas, you know I ain't gon' frill. Hey. Uh, stop. Hey, hot. Hey, hey, listen. I'm on the motherfucking mission. I gotta do shit for my mom. I told her I'm gonna win. Yeah. My mom got time for that drama. Huh. Yeah. Born again, believe on the way, no problem. My nigga going crazy. Hey, watch how you move. You know you can't stop me. I wanna go get me your mansion and put all that shit on the hill. I'm balling hard like I'm Grand Hill. These niggas don't know what it is. Uh. Yeah. OG Bird in the yeah. building. <laughs> Breakfast yeah. bars, mogul moves only. Hey man, we bringing them bars to you. Hey, y'all know hey. what it is. Oh, yeah. Uh. Hey, yeah. Hey. hey man, I appreciate you, man. Stop it, dropping them bars, man. Yeah, dropping with the single out, man. Can you tell everybody about the single one more time that you got out right now? Uh, watch how you move. 
Hey, y'all gotta go get that streaming everywhere. You gotta go get it. And for your fans and for all the fans out there who see you for the first time, what's some what you wanna leave with them, man? Something that you wanna leave behind. Uh really, whatever y'all wanna do in life, go get it, bro. No matter who tell you not what you can and can't do, but uh-huh. go do that. Hey, real talk. No matter how long it take, just go keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hey, man, y'all heard it, man. Y'all go check out that single by OG Bird. Tell him the yeah. title one more time. Watch how you move. Watch how you move. Go <laughs> check it out. This your boy, Big D the Mogul, a.k.a. Shook Diddy. And again, if you want to be on Mogul Moves only, hit up Team Mogul, team Mogul Media at gmail.com. And you know what it is. Subscribe, comment, and rate. And we out. Let's go. Dead. Get to the top with no help. Give me some diamonds, put tech. Stacking the money with no stress. My time is coming, I'm up next. Get to the top with no help. Give me some diamonds, put tech. Stacking the money with no stress. My time is coming, I'm up next. Watch how you move, 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 now watch how you move, the nigga. I really been stacking lately. Be ballin' hard, Tracy McGrady what? These what? niggas don't wanna see you make it no. My no. niggas be straight out the Navy Boom. Boom. On the run like fitness Boom. Pop a nigga and you can't lead a witness Boom. You gotta go stick to the code I'm um, bro, that's the only way to go Real, Real shit finna put on the show Yo. Real life just wanna bankroll So I wanna hands up, feel gold no. But I'ma blow it if you get close Boom. Nigga, you show me respect I want the whole P, I don't want nothing less Smoking hey. good gang, hey. in my mind, I was stressed I thought hey. I had to figure it out just like a test Yo. I want the money Yo. and stack it up right to the ceiling But fuck it, I'm going through some shit Yo. You got a problem, my nigga, let's Get it, but I need verses and pray that I give me a million. Watch how you move, these niggas be piling on the low, pull up a foe. Ayy, put that shit up in some PG. Ayy, these diamonds on me if you glistening. Ayy.